Most of us would have seen hospitals, ICUs, diagnostic centers and even operating theaters. And we see all the sophisticated instruments and equipment and that's what has made quality healthcare possible today. But most people don't know that 80% of these equipment and instruments are at present imported. How can we make quality healthcare affordable to the common man unless we start making them in India? Most people think hospitals means cost. And that is why many women and elderly people especially, they avoid going to diagnostic center because they don't want to burden their families with unnecessary expenses. But delayed diagnosis can mean that can treatment can become very difficult or very expensive. But doctors are primarily focused on treating their patients. If at all they visit an engineering college, it is perhaps to admit their son or daughter. On the other hand, an engineer visiting a hospital is obviously for either diagnosis or treatment. It never crosses their mind that they could work with each other. As an engineering faculty at IIT with access to brilliant minds from all over the country, we stop to ask ourselves, can we do more? Can we seed a culture of collaboration? Thus, Petik was formed. Over the last five years, this ecosystem of partnership to develop low-cost medical devices that can reach the remotest parts of India is now 17 centers and five years strong. Let us take a virtual tour of the facilities available at Betic. Situated at IIT Bombay, Betic was formed in 2014. It was inaugurated by Dr. Archidambaram, Principal Scientific Advisor to Government of India, in presence of Professor D. V. Kharkha, the then Director of IIT Bombay. Let us visit the first room, the Idea Room. where the doctors and engineers come together and brainstorm on the ideas. This is the room where ideas take birth. Various prototypes and functional models created by individuals and teams from hackathons like Meda, Medica are displayed here. Once the ideas and concept sketches are finalized, we move to the next room, the CAD room, where detailed designing is done. Simulation and analysis, 3D modeling, and CAD designs, which can further be used for prototyping and manufacturing are done. Once the detailed design is completed, we move to the prototyping room. Here, we have a 3D scanner to create high-precision 3D models of real-world objects with complex geometry. We also have a laser cutter and a biocompatible 3D printer for rapid prototyping and bring the ideas to life. In the conference room, we have an interactive projector to better understand the anatomy. The conference room setup enables a detailed discussion between the researchers and doctors. The circuit house. We have an in-house PCB milling machine which reduces the dependency on vendors for circuit manufacturing. The electronic circuits are designed, developed, and soldered by the researchers in the circuit house. For testing the circuits, a bench of test and measurement instruments set up, including the oscilloscope is present. Most of the basic electronic components are readily available in these storage racks for rapid prototyping. About 16 innovators have successfully developed various products including surgical instruments, diagnostic devices, implants, rehabilitation devices, and have incubated their own startups. Betic is the only academic lab in the country certified with ISO 13485. Betic also has facilities like EDM machining, grinding, and polishing, 3D metal printing machines to do batch manufacturing of the metal prototypes. Betic's 3D metal printing facility enable printing of custom implants. It was inaugurated by Dr. Anil Karkotka, Chairman RGSTC, Government of Maharashtra. Today, Betic bets on how many solutions we have created. The secret of change is to focus all your energies not on fighting the old but building the new and everyone's invited, whether they're from IIT or not.
And I think uh, government is doing all it can. There is a uh, huge change in the environment in terms of the policy improvement. I think what we should address it, what is it that we need to do to make sure that as far as medical product innovation is concerned, we build in, bring in that competitiveness. Words of wisdom from Pokhran scientist Dr. Anil Kakodkar.